Hey everyone, I've got a contest entry video here and it's for a channel called TKR Video Central, a pretty new channel here in the vinyl community, a fellow record geek, much respect. Go over there and check them out. Now, the reason I'm doing this contest and the way I found out about it was through my friend Vinyl Richie, a very well-respected channel in the vinyl community, an old punk rocker, and he said, Michael Pilmer, I think you should do one of these videos because I'm sure that you can come up with 10 obscure records that nobody else in the vinyl community has. And I said, yes, you're right, Vinyl Richie, I can do that. And I started looking through my seven inches. My plan was to do a video like Vinyl Richie where he showed five seven inches, five 12 inches, but once I started looking through my seven inches, I thought, okay, I'm gonna have plenty here, easy. I'll pick 10 out, we'll do this real quick. That's what's gonna happen. Now, there are a few records that I thought about showing that I'm not going to show because I know somebody else out there owns them. And uh, here's one of them. Now, my friend, Vinyl Richie, again, very into punk rock. My friend, John Bit Bop Boom, my friend, Dead Wax CC6, Ryan Kidd, all those people, I'm fearing that one of them would have this, so I'm not going to show it in the contest, but I'll just show you. It's Suicide Commando's 1976 single called Emission Control. Pretty cool. Uh, it's autographed by Chris of the Suicide Commandos. I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know where I got this years ago. And let me just show you the vinyl, because I know you guys like to see that. So there's the, the label. 1976 release, but I know some of those old punk rockers that I know have it, so I'm not going to show that. I'm also not going to show... This Leif Garrett fan club record, because I know Vinyl Richie probably has this. It's right up his alley. I know that he would have one of these in his collection, so I'm not going to show that. And speaking of Vinyl Richie, again, Vinyl Richie, you showed these in your video as uh, honorable mentions of sorts. And uh, let me just say, I got them. Go-Go's. I'm big into Go-Go's, and yeah, I've had those for years. Now let's get into the real meat of this contest. My 10 obscure 7-inch records. And let me just mention... There's a way to get extra entries into this contest, and you can help me out with that, please. If this is the way that you're finding out about this contest, uh, please, when you make your entry into the contest, which I hope you do, tell them that Michael Pilmer sent you. I will get an extra entry into the contest, and I'd really appreciate that. I'm going to hook Ronald Ritchie up, of course, by telling them that he sent me. So there you go. Now, first record is a band, Sockeye. I've talked about Sockeye quite a bit on my channel. They're from Ohio. This is a 1991 release called, are you ready for this? Grand Wizards of Your Parents' Sex Lives. Okay. Sockeye, Grand Wizards of Your Parents' Sex Lives. There they are, the wizards. And there's your parents. And uh, this cover's kind of cool. It's like a weird die cut. It's like a weird angular die cut fold cover. Pretty strange. There's the label. Real DIY, rubber stamped. Now, the music on this could be considered punk, I guess. It's really juvenile. It's really lo-fi. It's pretty horrible. In fact, the back of this record says, Sockeye is one of the lousiest live bands ever. Yet, people insist upon coming to see them perform time and again. What is the appeal? What draws the faithful few to each and every show? Anyway, it goes on. This one, I don't think anybody in this vinyl community has. Again, 1991 release. Check it out, Sockeye. Now, Another one I've chosen, and I know people have this in the vinyl community. A vinyl Richie, a few other friends of mine here have this. This is a band that I was in called Thor and the Ass Boys. This was recorded in 1999, reissued in this form in 2017. And I know people have this, so I'm not going to show that. But what I will show is the test pressing of that particular record, which I know nobody else here has except for me. And there's the weird cover, me and Thor on the back. And uh, I'll show you the uh, record here. Nobody has the Thor and the Ass Boys test pressing, except me. Guaranteed. Okay. Next, speaking of Thor, my friend from Canada, the rock warrior who started in rock and roll in the early 70s. First album was released in 77, 78, Keep the Dogs Away. Kind of a glam rock thing. He moved on to do anthemic heavy metal all through the 80s. Still, still creates heavy metal music to this day. And he originally, in, instead of just being Thor, he was in a band called Thor and the Imps, I-M-P-S, the Imps, out of Canada. And Frank Soda was one of the Imps and a very good friend of Thor to this day. Well, at some point, Thor broke away from the Imps. He got signed as Thor, a solo act, or Thor the band. And the Imps went on to do their own thing. And so this is uh, a 
the Imps record after they broke away from Thor. It's called uh, Break the Ice and Total Control. And this came out in 1979. It's uh, listed as hard rock. And so this is something that I don't think anybody else in the vinyl community has. There's the label and the record, two records. And uh, yeah, interesting band. Uh, Frank Soda of the Imps would put a television set, a hollowed out television set on his head. And I think the top of it would set on fire or something. Crazy stage show with the Imps. Uh, moving right along. I've got a band here from 1985 called Sin. And this single is called Damn the Preacher. And, uh, I mean, what a hilarious take on satanic rock and roll. Okay, you see that logo there? It's got the little snake and stuff. And look at this band. Okay, Damn the Preacher. Look at them. They're damning the preacher right there. And, uh, you know, the lyrics are, uh, are ridiculous. You should check this out. Um, here is the hilarious... Uh, okay, so there's the... One label, and now look at this hilarious label on the back. Look. No God! No God! Uh, yeah, so Sin, they do their best at uh, kind of doing satanic metal, I guess, but it is real cheese ball, and uh, I love it. Sin, 1985 release. I don't think anybody here has that. And next, another record I don't think you have. This is Sci-Fi Sex Stars. This was released in the UK, 1986. This was an alias of the band Zig Zig Sputnik, which featured Tony James of Generation X. And uh, they went under this name for maybe a show or two, uh, a little tour around London, and they released this one-off Sci-Fi Sex Stars uh, single. And uh, you can see there the cool graphics and the she-males on the front. Of course, censored by this block. Now, they did have a 12-inch version of this, which was not censored. A sticker was later added to that uh, cover. But here's the 7-inch. I don't think any of you guys have the Zig Zig Sputnik, a.k.a. Sci-Fi Sex Stars. Really great electro, kind of like uh, synth punk from the mid-'80s. A lot of sampling and uh, driving beats. Very cool. Speaking of driving beats, the next one is a band called Shizuo. This is, uh, came out in 2000. Now, Shizuo was part of a movement called the digital hardcore uh, genre. It was really brutal electronic punk. Uh, like, if, if thrash could be all electronic and psychotic, it would be something like Shizuo. And uh, this, I believe, was a bootleg, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Possibly a live show. I can't remember. I think this the music was recorded in 1998, supposedly, and then they added vocals in 2000 and then released it. So there's the record cover, Shizuo, barely legible there. And then here's the very cool blank bootleg-looking 7-inch. Uh, really hardcore music, loud, brutal, scary. I would recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. Now, this one's really good. Nobody has this. And uh, I got this at the hollering contest in Spivey's Corner, North Carolina, way back in the, I want to say, late 80s, early 90s. And um, this is a record that came out in 1976. And what it is, it's actually recordings of people doing hollering at a hollering contest in the 70s. And hollering was basically kind of like calling out to your neighbor before there were phones and that kind of thing. There was certain little kind of yodel calls that they would it's like pig calls or uh, you know like it's real southern and they're hollering and they're hooting and uh great stuff my band silica gel sampled this record uh to create some industrial weird experimental music uh later but yeah 1976 this is the record and there's the label and uh let's see pull it out there so you can see the whole thing hollering look at that really great stuff uh here is my ticket from the what was it 1994 I think I went also to one in 1990, and I think that one, I, pro I think I won a whistling contest, and I have a trophy somewhere for that. And by the way, here's the trophy from the whistling contest I won, and it turns out it was in 1991. So that's when I bought that 7-inch record. We took it home, we sampled it, we recorded an album with it in 93, and then I went back in 1994 to the hollering contest, but this is the only time I won something there. Whistling, that's hardcore. Anyway, nobody has the hollering record, guaranteed. Moving right along, just three more to show you. Village People, I love the Village People. And this is not a standard disco Village People record, although I love their disco stuff. This is their 19... 
81 single for five o'clock in the morning, B-side Food Fight. Now, Food Fight is the standout on this record. Food Fight is actually a punk rock song, and there's no way around it. It's a punk rock song. It sounds a lot like the Dickies. Uh, it's amazing. And so this is their anti-disco, let's, let's you know, get hip to the 80s uh, record. This was from their album Renaissance. Totally great record. There are a few punky new wave songs on there that will grab you. So Food Fight single, love it. Big Village People fan. Okay, now this next one came out in 1989. Uh, the cover is framed, so I'm going to keep it in the frame. It's a band called Cop Shoot Cop, and this is their debut single. Again, 1989. This is called Peace Man, like peace as in gun, not peace as in hippie. Peace Man, and the cover is splattered with real pig's blood. There was a thousand of these made, and uh, I will show you the uh, actual record here and the label. Quite hard to find these days. They're cop Shoot Cop 1 and then Cop Shoot Cop A. It's A and 1. Isn't that funny? Anyway, Cop Shoot Cop, Peace Man. It's like post-punk, really kind of hard, brutal rock. I remember two bass players, one low-end bass player, one high-end bass player. They added a guitar player later. They have a wonderful percussionist uh, in, in the first few albums. Oh, man, Cop Shoot Cop. Look them up. Not only do they have a great name for the band, based on drug use, basically, but their sound and their lyrics and uh, the pig blood splattered seven inch. Check it out. Check it out. I recommend it. There's one more record I have to, set, to uh, show you. I know for a fact that nobody on planet Earth or anywhere else in the galaxy has one of these except for me. And... It's a Devo related, but I had to throw some Devo in here. If you guys know me, you know my connection to the band Devo. So I did throw some Devo in this mix, and uh, let me show you this. This is very, very rare. There's only one of these on the planet. This is a record that was actually cut live during Devo's rehearsals in 2014 for their Hardcore Devo tour, in which they played lots of stuff from the early 70s days, very unknown, raw, Devo stuff. No Whip It, no Working in the Cold Mine, no That's Good, Peekaboo, none of the hits. They played all this weird, hardcore Devo from the early 70s, and uh, these records were recorded during the rehearsals. So you see here, songs are listed there, rubber stamped. And uh, yeah, there's only one. I think Mark Mothersbaugh recorded a whole lot of these, and he gave me one, and I'm so happy for it. Again, one of one, everybody. Uh, live record that was actually cut live, straight to record as the rehearsal went on. Great stuff. Richie, thank you for letting me know about this contest. Everybody, go sub up Richie. He needs your subs. He's only got five or 6,000. And don't forget TKR, Video Central. Go check him out. And uh, may the rock and roll gods bless you all as they blessed me. Oh, and check out Casino, too, another obscure band, 80s synth pop from Europe. Uh, take care, everybody. We love you. Till next time.